this video, we're going to work on connected and separated styles of articulation on the French horn on a new note. And that new note is called a B. Now in the key of C Do, the job of that B is to be T. If we go up here, we can see that C is Do, that's its name, Do is its job. If we go over to B, that's its name, its job in C Do is to be T. It'll make a lot more sense if we sing it. So let's get tuned up. Now can everyone sing B? Okay. Now let's sing its job. T. Okay. Now, go ahead and set yourself up because we're going to play that. Remember that left leg is facing straight forward. Right leg is off to the side. Our lead pipe is lined up right with our left leg. And if you need to, you can rest, uh, excuse me, rest your belt on your back leg. And your hand is going to be in the cradle position. Okay, I'm going to pick my horn up off my legs. I'm a little taller. And you can leave yours there. Now everyone show me the fingering for that B or T. It's going to be just second bow. Nice job. All right, let's play that. Me first, then you. Here we go. All right. If you're missing that note, try singing it again. T. And play one more time. Articulate, connected, then separated first in duple. Remember to use your tongue to separate those notes. Do, 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 or two, two, two. Here we go. And echo. That's why I wasn't bringing my horn up and down in between each pattern. I was keeping it right here and just breathing around the sides, like this. That's a great way to take a breath before you play. Let's try the same thing on that B or T, but this time in triple. Here we go. Connected first. And echo B. job with your connected and separated styles of articulations.